Hello, what's up guys? So guy prompts you once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are talking about how students are able to raise 10,332 euros for their second block account if they are required to open a block account whilst extending your visa. So if you're ready for this video, stay tuned. Hello, welcome back guys once again to my channel. The name is Promzi, a Ghanaian based in Germany, currently pursuing my masters here in Germany. On my channel, I give tips to international students who wish to continue the education in Germany. So previously on my other video, I spoke about whether or not students are required to open a second block account when they extend their visa here in Germany. So this video, I'm going to talk about how students are able to raise this 10,332 euros when they are required to open the second blog account. So this video is for students who are already in Germany, not students who are now coming to Germany because most of the things I'm going to talk about can and can be done only in Germany. So without wasting much time, let's just dive straight into the video. So the first point I'm going to talk about is the block account. The block account you use to enter Germany. So 10,332 euros within a year, that's over 850 euros every month is more than enough for any international student in Germany. I did a video about cost of living in Germany. So if you've not watched it, I'm going to put the link in the description down below so that you go and watch it cost of living for international students shouldn't exceed 500 or 600 euros depending on your lifestyle but i think 600 euros is way too much for a student so if you come to germany with a block account you are not supposed to squander the block account within one year you can save a chunk of your block account and use that amount top it up and open a second block account if the outstanding beholder in Germany ask you to open a second block account. I really wish I had this information the first day I stepped foot in Germany because I think I really misused my block account in my first year and that was it. At the end of the first year, the whole block account money was almost gone. So if you come to Germany with a block account, I advise that you don't squander all the money or you don't spend all the money that is given to you, especially if the money is not a loan, you have to pay back home or pay the person who gave it to you. Save a lot of the money and if the Austrian table holder asks you to open a second block account in your second year, then you have like, let's say half or let's say 40%, that's around 4,000 already in place. You top it up and you open the second block account without a lot of stress. So the second point I'm going to talk about is finding a job, student job, find a job when you come to Germany. So some students think once they have the block account, they can survive on the block account without getting a job. Of course, you can not survive on the block account, but that means at the end of the year, most of the money will be gone if you don't have any source of income supporting you in Germany. And I know a lot of students find jobs and are working while combining it with their studies so you are no different find a job support yourself with a block account so that at the end of the year you might not have even used your block account money you might not have even touched your block account money you can use that amount of money to reopen a new block account if you are required to open a second block account finding a job in germany doesn't only support you financially but it also gives you some sense of discipline how to use your money since you are now working for your own money, you know how to allocate your money, how to spend your money, and you just don't misuse money because now you know the worth of every euro that you spend. If you are wondering how to raise this huge amount of money for your second block account, once you get to Germany and you get, have your documentation worked out, you have your work permit or your abite loudness, find yourself a job. It could be a mini job, any type of job, you find yourself, you find your hands on, work it out, get some amount of money and save. Together with the amount of money you save from the 
previous block account you can top it up and open a second block account if the outstanding board requires you to open it so the third point i'm going to talk about is friends you get a lot of support from your friends and the type of friends you mingle with i will always advise students to find a lot of international friends they understand the stress of opening block accounts and they have the funds and means to help each other when the needs arises i'm not saying german friends or europeans europeans wouldn't do the same but they don't even know what block account it's and they don't understand the stress and the amount of pressure it puts on students if you get to germany you are from ghana make a lot of ghanaian friends make a lot of nigerian friends international friends in general we understand what we go through when it comes to extension of visa opening of block accounts and trust me students are willing to help each other out once you are not stingy with your money if your friend is in need of money in case of opening block account and you give, we give the person let's say some amount of money to open the block account which he would definitely pay back if it's your turn to open a block account and you need money he too will return the favor so once you come to germany and your finance are on point don't be stingy with your money hand out money that you can hand out i'm not saying take all your money and give it to someone but help someone if you can so that when it's your turn and you are looking for help you can easily get help i will always recommend that once you come to germany have a very good circle of international friends and when it comes to opening up block account trust me it will be a lot of benefit to yourself I hope you're enjoying the video you are watching and if you like the content you can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button and giving me a thumbs up. Let's get back to it. The fourth point I'm going to talk about is credit. For my part of the world, Africa, we don't, our economy is not built on credit. So I wasn't even exposed to credit card till I think like a lot, a lot of months I spent in Germany. I didn't have a credit card but it really goes a very long way to help you if you have a credit card and you have a good credit score as in they give you the money you pay back they give you the money you pay back if you're able to go through this process within the first year that you're in germany by the time outstander beholder is asking you to open a block account you might have had a credit of let's say five thousand on your credit card and if you've been able to save some amount of money from your previous block account or from the work that you've been doing you can just top it up and open the block account in this case you know once the money is being put in your account you just transfer the money back to the credit card and it will save you a lot of stress if you know you have let's say four thousand or five thousand on your credit card you just have to look for extra five thousand or save extra five thousand of course there's some amount of interest but i don't think the interest will outweigh the stress and the pressure students go through when they are asked to open a block account. I think a lot of them go in for the credit card. So the fifth point I'm going to talk about is overdraft. I think I made a video about this talking about this particular bank, N26. I personally think N26 is one of the best banks, if not the best for international students. Having bank with this particular bank, within some few months, they were able to give me huge amount of overdraft. That's over 4,000 to 8,000 that they give to students. So if they give you this overdraft, so you know you have overdraft between 4,000 to 8,000 with M26. If you go to the outstanding table holder and they ask you to transfer 10,000 euros to your block account, you just transfer this amount of money, top it up with like 2,000 euros and you are set and done of course this is also like the credit card system it accumulates some amount of interest but you know the block account money will come to your account every month and you just put it back to where you pick it this saves students a lot of stress so i did a separate video talking about best financial institutions in germany for international students i'm going to put the link also in the description below you can check it out in a later time so this is my final point and i don't think this point will be very useful to everyone because not everyone would like to ask for money back home but if your family is financially stable and they ask you to create a second block account and you've squandered your whole money some people are able to sort out this problem by asking for money 
back home. So if you think your family is financially stable, there's I don't think there's anything stopping you from asking them to send you 10,332 euros for your second block account. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you find this video very educative and informative. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and put a nice comment in the comment section below. Like always, the name is Pomzi and I'm signing out. Peace.